Check out thebox.live for complete event listings and more. This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello everyone and welcome into sports. The Rush picked up a big one Wednesday, rolling past Fort Wayne 4-1. to That's right, Andrew, and tonight Rapid City looked to keep things rolling as it hit the ice for another big game against the Comets with a K. Fort Wayne Comets, one of the legendary teams in minor league hockey. Our own David Stradling grew up going to Comets games in Indiana. First period, nice puck movement from the Rush. Logan Elson fires the shot. Tyler Parks makes the save. The Rush generated 20 shots in the game. Still scoreless, Fort Wayne's Jake Chason and fires the shot from inside the circle. Matt Radomski is up to the challenge. And then we have some pushing and shoving next to the net. You know, it's cold out there. We're going to have some short fuses. Comets back on the attack. Dejan Mingo blasts the one-timer in for the goal. And it's Fort Wayne who gets the win in this one at 3-1 to one over the rush. Now let's send things over to Andrew. Thanks, Vic. The Stevens girls were back at home tonight against Campbell County after four straight on the road. Brittany Jones attacking the rim for the Raiders, but is denied in the paint. Jones to Haley Peterson. Peterson to Finley Love. The sophomore putting the defense on skates with a pump fake and behind the back before hitting the runner in the lane. For the Campbells, Cammy Curtis wheeled and dealed all night long. This time she waves her teammate through, goes to work herself and hits this Kobe-esque baseline jumper to pull her team within three points. Tamaya Porbear kept things moving for the Raiders. Peterson with the perfect pass over the top to the defender's hands all the way to Poor Bear, who lays it in for the right-handed layup. Stevens gets back to 5-5 five and five on the season with a 55-46 victory over Campbell County. Switching to college hoops, South Dakota Mines hosted Western Colorado tonight at the King Center. Keegan Smith was a force to be reckoned with in the first half. He goes to battle on the blocks, showing good footwork before hitting a left-handed jump, jump hook in the lane. Next play down for the Hard Rockers. The defense starts to catch on to Keegan Smith on the blocks. Smith with excellent court vision here. He sends a bullet cross port pass to Cameron Cohn on the wing who drains the long ball. Cohn shooting 36% from beyond the arc on the season. 14 or minute minutes remaining in the first half. Alejandro Rama gets downhill and completes the circus shot. He gets that one to fall. The Hard Rockers get back in the win column with an 81 to 66 win over Western Colorado. Now Vic, tell us about that women's game. All right, South Dakota Mines women looking for a win against Western Colorado as well. First quarter, Hard Rockers get the ball to Piper Bauer and she drains a three pointer. It was a big game for Bauer. Mines down by five. Naomi Hidalgo dishes to Piper Bauer and she banks it home from the lane, but Bauer wasn't finished. Now, normally you have to buy an ad to get this much airtime. If you're interested in an ad, call our sales department. Piper Bauer pulls up, finds the twine on another three-pointer. Bauer led the way with 26 points. Tell them Vic sent you for that ad, by the way. Might get, it, might get commissioned. Hello, win column for the uh, Lady Hard Rockers tonight. They take it 73-62. Let's go to the scoreboard. In high school girls basketball, Thunder Basin defeated Sturgis. 46-33. Red Cloud rolled past Custer tonight, 53-22. At the Girls West River Tournament, Upton knocked off Hot Springs, 50-39. Edgemont took care of Ulrich, 51-26. In boys hoops, Lyman defeated Bennett County, 58-41. White River down Kadoka, 64-40. The Phillip and Jones County boys played quite a game with the Scotties prevailing in double overtime tonight, 60 354. The Stevens boys got past Campbell County 72 to 60. Stevens boys and girls both with the wins tonight. Andrew has some more scores for us. Yeah, Vic on the ice tonight. The Badlands Sabres picked up a big one and knocking off the Sheridan Hawks 4 to 1. It was cold out there. It was a good night for hockey. It was definitely hockey weather out there. It was very cold. I'm sure it would have been even colder inside the monument for the rush. That's right. And uh, the rush will look to uh, get another win coming up tomorrow. Bounce back, take two or three from the Comets. Have some big college football news. We want to let people know. Kalen DeBoer, Milbank Zone, of course, led Washington to the national championship game. Great two seasons with the Huskies. He is the new head coach at the University of Alabama. How about that? From Milbo Milbank, South Dakota to the Crimson Tide. What do you got coming up for the folks tomorrow, Andrew? Yeah, Rush looking to bounce back, as you said, against for Wayne and then Central uh, playing Campbell County. Stevens play them tonight. Central boys and girls playing them tomorrow. All right, should be fun. NFL playoff start as well. Sunday, Cowboys and the Packers right here on Black Hills Fox at 2.30. Go Cowboys. That's a look at sports.